you come to the Belize Zoo, and what do you get? You get New Jersey. White-tailed deer. A lot of people don't know. White-tailed deer. So much for watching the video i just want to take a few moments to explain the ending of the video and the end of our trip and to also thank a few people so first thing uh the end of the video was very uh to the point we got on the plane and i didn't show anything of us landing basically we were extremely tired and extremely hungry so josh and i once the plane landed after a lot of turbulence we sprinted to customs sprinted to customs and then we sprinted out of customs, we got in our ride share, drove home, and then as soon as we got home, we ate some food, went to bed after we showered, and that was it. It was very like, let's get home and eat and sleep. <laughs> so that's how our trip kind of ended there. Um, and now to say my thank yous. So first of all, thank you to my mom for waking up at like 3.30 to drive us to the airport. A uh, very early flight, so we needed to get there early. And thankfully my mom is always willing to drive us there. She's more of our early bird person than a late night person. So thank you so much to that. Um, I also wanted to give a thank you to Josh's mom because as soon as we got back to her house, she ended up making us a sandwich. And I know it sounds so simple, but just the fact that she was able to stay up until like 1am and make Josh and I a sandwich, it probably saved our lives. Um, I think I would have eaten my hand off if I didn't eat that sandwich in that moment. So thank you so much, Sherry, for staying up so late and being willing to uh, give us some food and talk to us about the trip so late at night. Also a huge thank you to both Sherry and John, Josh's mom and Josh's dad, for financially helping us with the ride share in order to get us home. Uh, it was very late at night um, and that was probably one of the best options for us was to do a ride share because nobody was going to be able to really drive that late at night. We were all extremely tired, um, so the rideshare was a very safe option for us, so thank you so very much for helping us with that. 
Um, and then obviously the biggest shout out is to my dad. Uh, thank you so much to my dad for, I might cry. I'm not gonna cry. <laughs> thank you so much to my dad for always making my trips to Belize really fun. For those of you who don't know, my dad moved to Belize uh, back three years ago. So this is my third time visiting him now and he has never failed to make it a very fun trip and a trip that I'm not like repeating doing the same things. You would think after three times of me going to Belize, it would feel kind of boring. Like, okay, I've been here before. But no, he never fails to get me to do new things. Uh, one of those examples is going to the Lubantun mine ruins. So I had been to two mine ruins before. The first time was Altoon Ha when I was staying in San Pedro with my dad. And then the second time I went to Nimli Panet last year. Um, so I was like, okay, there's, there can't be any more Mayan ruins to see, right? Nope, my dad said, yeah, you're gonna see this one, Lubantun. So he took us to the very long drive there and he was more than willing to do that. Also, Josh was very interested in seeing the Mayan ruins cause he's really into like that kind of history side of things like that. So he was really interested in seeing those Mayan ruins. So my dad said, all right, I'll make it happen. <laughs> so that's just one example of the many things that he's done just to get us to experience those things and make it a really fun and memorable time. Memorable time. Um, so thank you so much to my dad. Thank you also to my dad for giving us a place to stay. I know that it's your house, but you really don't have to let us stay there. <laughs> so it really helps us out financially and it gives us a really nice like home feeling just to stay there. So thank you so much for providing that. And thank you just for also being there for me. When I got stomach sick, my dad walked like a very far time and a very long time and went to many different stores in order just to get me a bottle of Pepto. Um, so my dad loves me and my dad cares about me a lot. I love him too. Obviously that's why I visit him. <laughs> so I just wanted to say thank you to my dad. Miss you lots already and I love you. Um, and for anybody who's watching and is interested in traveling to Belize, maybe even moving to Belize, my dad has amazing videos on his channel, Sean and Belize. I'll link it down below. Definitely check out his videos. They're really awesome, really informative, and I highly suggest you guys subscribe too. To me too. Just subscribe to us both, why not? <laughs> While you're at it. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, now that that just feels done, I just want to say thank you again for watching the video and thank you to everybody who made this trip possible. Bye.